Mr. Cool, Cool Tin Lock, one of the busiest actors in the world. If he isn't acting in movies, he's busy producing them. Alongside his powerhouse production house, One Cool Films, who were involved in everything from funding, producing, and special effects. In 2021 alone, Lewis Koo was featured in several movies, both starring and cameo, including All You Need Is Love, Dynasty Warriors, Once Upon a Time in Hong Kong, and Anita, with Back to the Past, Death Notice, and G-Storm all set to release before the end of 2021. But there's still more to come, so let's not waste any more time and let's check out what other movies are set to come out featuring Hong Kong's greatest modern day actor, Louis Koo. Alongside almost 21,000 subscribers, we'd like to say welcome to Asian film fans. Back at the start of 2020, we showed the first two announced trailers for this very big budget science fiction movie. Then the pandemic occurred and information about this movie all but dried up. But we still believe this is coming, we just don't know when. Directed by Yen Fanten, the same man behind Back to the Past, and featuring the usual cast of Ku collaborators, or Ku collaborators as we're going to refer to them from now on, including Sean Lau, Karina Lau, and Nick Chung. Ku is a big fan of sci-fi movies, and word is he's considered this movie one of his most anticipated projects. So keep an eye out for this one. The poster for this one couldn't get more generically Hong Kong if it tried. A large safe door, exploding money, and what looks to be bloodstains. So expect this to be a crime film, but thankfully it's a straight Hong Kong production. So hopefully the plot will actually be interesting since there will be no need to conform to the mainland regulations. Three relatively inexperienced directors are listed for this, which seems to be the norm for One Cool Pitch's productions, with the collaborators including Jessica Xuan, Philip Kyung, and Louis Chung. It almost feels like a reunion of the cast from a witness out of the blue. Not sure about the title of this Sunny Luck film, who co-directed the original Cold War. But this movie is about a deadly drug epidemic that causes a spike of homicide cases in Hong Kong. A senior police inspector and a medical professor clash as they solve the mystery of this epidemic. Ku Laborator Nick Chung is set to co-star in this one. This 2021 movie has moved into 2022 territory. You may remember we spoke about this movie in our Donnie Yen video, so no need to say any more than can this one hurry up and release already? Louis Ku and Donnie Yen in a Wong Jing fantasy movie. Yes, please. Okay, this one has a working title that doesn't translate very well, either being known as War Plague Angel or Poison Crown Invasion. Both titles are terrible, so expect a completely irrelevant English title to be bestowed on this one closer to the release date. This movie has finished filming, and if a photo of Andy Lau in a medical mask and clothing are to be analysed, this could be a movie about the pandemic. Herman Yao is the director, with Chinese actress Zishan Yang also collaborating in this film. Louis Ku in a uniform? Ladies, as the title of this movie says, keep breathing. This ambulance themed movie is also being directed by Herman Yao, with Chuk Wan Chi as co-director, continuing the tradition of one cool pictures providing opportunities for up and coming talent. Mr. Cool and crime thrillers, what could be a more suitable mix? This is another purely Hong Kong produced movie that stars another awesome list of collaborators, including the second best modern Hong Kong actor in the world, Gordon Lam, Karina Lam, and Louis Chung, with what appears to be another inexperienced director at the helm. This movie has had its opening ceremony, so let's assume they've already finished filming this one. Hopefully, we get more information about it soon. Chalk this one up as just a rumor being a movie about a father and son and something to do with the delicious Hong Kong street snack of egg waffles. The best and second best modern Hong Kong actors are in this film, so if it ever comes out, it's going to be awesome. Many people are excited about this film for a variety of reasons. 
some are excited about the fact that Juno Mark is finally releasing a new movie. Others are just as excited at the cast list. Alongside Mr. Cool is Japanese actor Takeshi Kaneshiro, with Tony Leung, Sean Lau, and Michelle Wai just the tip of the iceberg. Gorgeous black and white images have been released for this Hong Kong crime thriller that's starting to give off limbo style vibes. The biggest question is, why hasn't this been released yet? Not much is known about this family adventure film that features Louis Ku and Irene Wan and is being written by Herman Yao. For those keeping track, that's the third Herman Yao collaboration in this video so far and there are more to come. Wong Jing's popular Chasing the Dragon series returns with a story set in Chinatown in New York in 1963. This is yet another movie where Andy Lau will fight with Louis Ku for major star billing, if it gets made. Guess what? Another Andy Lau collaboration. This movie started planning back in 2017, so it's probably dead in the water now, with Oxidy Pung originally set to be the director. We think this one is just a pure rumour, because we're not sure how or why you'd make a sequel to this film. But then again, we also thought the same thing about Shockwave, which hilariously has the same director as this, Herman Yao. Sean Lau is also collaborating with Oxidy Pung as the lead writer. Yet another White Storm movie. This one has wrapped up production and is yet another Herman Yao directed film. At this point, there are surely some rumors about what's going on between Yao and Ku. Ku collaborators Sean Lau and the third best modern actor in Hong Kong, Aaron Kwok, are set to star in this movie alongside Eddie Peng, Alex Fong, and finally Lam Sue. This is the first movie we've called his name in, which is weird, as he's usually everywhere. A couple of beautiful posters for this third movie in the Wind and Cloud series, also known as Breaking Waves. This fantasy film doesn't have anyone else other than Mr. Ku listed in the cast list. An awesome cast has been announced for this mainland China production, where the two best modern Hong Kong actors unite alongside Taiwan's Tiffany Xu, who will play Ku's girlfriend in this movie about two men who are possibly police officers investigating a crime that has a personal connection to them. Back in late November 2021, a photo of a slate from the set of this movie was released, with one cool picture's logo on it, so it looks like this one is no longer a rumor anymore. This is a movie about the Kowloon Walled City, with Soi Chung and Derek Kwok as directors, with Max Jung, the awesome Max Jung, also set to star in this one. By the way, we love Max Jung at Asian Film Fans and would love to see him in more movies. But stop the press! because another movie called Fighting the Darkness with the same plotline has also been announced. With Herman Yao set to direct this and Andy Lau and Nick Chung as the collaborators. So which movie is the slate from? Well, judging by the Chinese characters, it is City of Darkness. But with two movies having a similar plotline listed in Ku's filmography and no concrete information on either yet, we're going to merge them into one for the purpose of this video and wait for more on-set photos. This was announced back in 2019 and is about an officer in the Internal Affairs Department who's ordered to work undercover to collect evidence by the anti-narcotics group. Sounds like a rather generic Hong Kong themed action crime movie with a mainland favor. Ku Laborator Nick Chung is also set to star in this, with the late, great Benny Chan named as executive producer. We have no idea about this one, but it was announced back in 2017, so it's probably going nowhere, even though we think deep down inside, we all want to see it. Wilson Yip was named as the director, with Soi Chang as the producer. China is the country of origin for this kung fu movie, which is set to star Yang Mi from A Writer's Odyssey. But don't get too excited, because Mr. Cool is just the producer of this one. 
bad translation for this movie aside, which seems to be about a hospital who needs to make a decision about a donated heart after a woman dies in a car accident. Does the heart go to a young girl or a gang leader? But then a power failure occurs and the heart is stolen. Not sure what they plan to do with the heart, but if we told you Herman Yao was directing this with Andy Lau as the co-star, would you be too surprised? You're going to have to wait to 2025 for this one. Clearly Dynasty Warriors didn't put Ku off making more Three Kingdoms movies, so this title, listed for 2030, is rumoured to be in production with streaming service Le TV. Director of The Climbers Daniel Lee is set to direct this one, with Ku collaborators Nick Chung and Sean Lau set to star alongside Mr. Cool himself. Our advice? Don't wait for more info on this one. Seems like Daniel Lee and Louis Ku have signed a deal to make movies set to release in 2030, because here we have another one. There's no information about this one, but Ku collaborator Jessica Shen is also set to star in this as well. And finally, the last movie on this list is yet another predicted 2030 release. Titled Marauder, this one is being directed by Soi Chang and produced by Wilson Yip. Judging by the poster, it appears to be a sci-fi movie, one of Ku's favourite genres, so let's hope the nine-year gestation period will result in a kick-ass film. This is our known list of upcoming and rumoured Lewis Ku movies. Which ones are you looking forward to and why? Leave us a comment below and watch out for our next Actor Spotlight video.